Okay, t so today we are, let me start up, but don't stop uh, rolling, I'll just okay. keep talking. Um, okay, so today we are learning how to pick up stitches along the side of the work. And you see we already have the red done of our flag, we have the, the white done, and now you're just going to turn it this way and have the blue ready. And see how you have these ridges here? You've got like ridge, 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 ridge. We're gonna start between this bound off row and the first ridge. So right in there, and you put your needle underneath, it's like a V, but there are two bars here. And then you pick up the blue, and you wind it around the needle once, and you bring it forward, and there's one. Now we're going to go between the next two ridges, wrap the yarn around, oops, and I, I missed it, that happens sometimes, and bring it forward. And see how I split the yarn? That's a mistake, so I just go ahead and poke through so that I've got all the yarn around there. Now we go under the next ridge, wrap around, and bring it forward. Okay, I did that one just right. Go through the next ridge, wrap around, and bring it through. Now this is how I knit, which is kind of continental style. Since I learned how to crochet first, I find that my way of knitting is a little different than other people's. Let me try and do it as if it was the yarn was in the right hand. Let me show you what that looks like. Oh, and you'll notice I'm only using one needle. I don't even need two at this point yet. All right, so we're gonna test my skills here with the English style of knitting. So you go in, wrap around, and come forward. Go in between the ridges, wrap around, and come forward. And that just feels so awkward to me that I'm going back to my comfort zone. <laughs> so. You keep going all the way down the line. Okay, and we are halfway there. We're about to go down now into the red. is looking so cute. And then what we do after we pick up all these stitches, see I, I split the yarn there and I'm not supposed to do that. There we go. Be more careful. There we go. What we do after we pick up all these stitches is we flip over the work, we pick up the second needle, and we just start knitting in garter stitch. Just knit, knit, knit every stitch, knit every row. And then you will have this beautiful Texas flag. Almost there. Okay, let me just lay it out and you can see how it looks. I'm just going to tighten this a little bit. Good stuff.